noted that the jury's reached verdicts in this case, so we'll ask the bailiff to bring the jurors back to the courtroom. Gentlemen, uh, it's my understanding from the bailiff that you have indicated that a unanimous verdict has been reached in this case. Could your foreperson please stand for me? Yes, ma'am, juror number four. Uh, this is a yes or no question, ma'am. Is it correct that uh, the jury has reached unanimous verdict in each of these charges? Yes, sir. And have you signed and dated the verdict forms? Yes, sir. Would you hand the entire verdict packet to the bailiff, please? And thank you, ma'am. You can sit down. Madam Clerk, would you announce the verdicts, please? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, your foreperson has returned the following unanimous verdicts. In the state of North Carolina versus Nathan Lorenzo Holden, we the jury by unanimous ver verdict find the defendant in file number 14 CRS 208-088, count one, guilty of first degree murder under the felony murder rule of Sylvester Taylor. In file number 14 CRS 208087, count one, guilty of first degree murder of Anglia Taylor under the felony murder rule. In file number 14 CRS 002275, count one, guilty of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury, and count two, guilty of attempted first degree murder of Latanya Holden. This the 27th day of February, 2017, are these your unanimous verdicts? So say you all. Yes. yes. Thank you. By a show of hands, ladies and gentlemen, so I can take a quick head count. Uh, if you would just simply raise your hands if these verdicts as announced reflect your unanimous verdicts. Let the record reflect 12 jurors have raised their hand. Counsel, is there anything further that we require of this jury for this phase of this trial? Not from the state, Your Honor. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, as was explained to you during jury selection, because this jury has returned a verdict of guilty of first degree murder, uh, we will move to the second phase of this trial, uh, trial where the jury will now be asked to consider the appropriate punishment for these offenses, namely the, poss the life without the possibility of parole, imprisonment, or the death penalty. Uh, we are not going to begin that phase until tomorrow morning. Uh, we have the two alternate jurors that we uh, will be rejoining you uh, and we released them on Friday and, asked, and told them not to expect to come back today. So we'll need to, for planning purposes, bring them back uh, to rejoin you in the morning. 
Uh, so what that means at this time is I'm going to go ahead and release you for the remainder of the day. We'll be in recess in this matter until tomorrow morning at 930. Um, it is my expectation that uh, the evidence will not be as long as uh, it was in the first phase. And so I expect we'll move uh, fairly expeditiously through that process. And again, you'll be then in a position to deliberate on this matter uh, in the not too distant future. So I, I just want to assure you that even with this uh, break in the action for today, we're well within the schedule that we predicted for you at the outset of this trial. Uh, with all of that being said, I do want to remind you that the rules continue to be very important in this case, that you not talk about this case with anyone or allow anyone to talk about it in your presence. I don't express any opinions about this matter or form any opinions about the outcome of the second phase. I have no conversations or communications with parties, witnesses, or lawyers, no media or independent investigation into these matters. <laughs> Uh, with all of that being said, we again thank you very much for your service throughout this process, uh, and we will see you tomorrow morning at 9.30. You can leave all of your materials uh, in the deliberation room. Uh, be sure you get your personal things for today. Uh, what I will ask you to do when you return tomorrow morning is bring your notebooks back into the courtroom with you uh, so that you can have your notebooks available for you during uh, the second phase of this trial. So thank you all very much. We appreciate it. Uh, 9.30 tomorrow morning in the deliberation room. Everyone else, please remain seated. All right, outside the presence of the jury, anything that we need to take up? Um, for the fact that I would renew my motions concerning the dismissal of all charges. Just now that the right. verdicts come in. Those motions are denied. The verdicts of the jury at this stage of the proceedings are accepted by the court and ordered recorded. Uh, I will uh, just ask, do we have an estimate of how long we anticipate phase two being? I'd like to give the jurors some idea of I think, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think our part will be a day or less. Does the defense have an idea of their? I was thinking two, two, <coughs> two and a half days would be my estimate. All right. So it, it may be that we're concluding the evidence by maybe Thursday, possibly Friday. And yes. That was, our, that was our estimate. Yes. All right. That sounds fun. And, and for Mr. Brown, Ms. Hamburger, some planning purposes, I. I would probably vote, think it would be closer to half a day for tomorrow. For tomorrow, um, right. so if th there's a good possibility that we could be finished and they could just go ahead and start putting on evidence tomorrow afternoon. Right. And I yes. know they have some travel issues that they're working yeah. with. Yeah. So we would be prepared. Would you think it'd be safe for us to be prepared at two thirty? I, I think that would be a good okay. estimate. Okay. That will be. That's when we'll have our first witnesses here. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, and let's let's get everything together. Let's have first witnesses ready to go. That's fine. All right. So uh, yeah, and let's let's have witnesses ready to go. Uh, so that we can move efficiently through the phase two and, and not have delays. Yes, sir. All right. And I, I would say that the honor intends to offer a short opening statement. Right. Uh, that's fine. We'll, I'll give uh, very brief instructions. Uh, again, an outline of the an orientation to the jury for the second phase. We will have the opportunity for opening statements. Uh, either side to state know whether it intends to make an opening statement. If we do, it will be very, very brief. All right. So opening statements, and then we'll move directly into the state's evidence. It, it, is, it is possible, I have to confer with Ms. Hamburg, we may have some short motions at the beginning of tomorrow, but we, we will know that first thing in the morning. All right. Just bring them to my attention, and we'll, we'll take them up as need be. All right. Is there anything else that we need to take up today? Not no, from the state. No, sir. All right. Very good. Then we'll be in recess until 930 tomorrow morning. Here's what's happening.